Today we're going to create a residential parking area inside OpenSite Designer. To get started, we're going to surround the site with our limits of disturbance. There's a couple of benefits to doing this. Number one, it will give us a parking and building setback that we can then build off of. And number two, whenever we run the grading solver later on, it's not going to look for dirt or try to correct any slopes outside of our limits of disturbance. Next step is we're going to place in a parceling area. We'll select the parceling area and we'll outline it by picking points. To do this, we'll just snap to all the points created by our building setback and you'll see it creates our parceling area just like that. However, there are no parcels until you can drive to a parcel. So using the pathway tool, we're going to draw this roadway right through the lot and it will fill in automatically with default parcels. If you want to modify that radius, just select the driveway, hover over the corner, and it'll come up with the radius. For this one, we'll try two or three hundred to get a smooth curve. Before we continue, I'm going to dim back this aerial so that we can see our lines a little bit more clear. And the nice thing about having parametric modeling is I already noticed there's one issue in the corner where I don't quite have enough space. Luckily, I can just grab that road, slide down the segment, and everything will recreate automatically. So after a couple more adjustments, I have a more efficient looking design. Using these side properties, we have an array of controls. I can change the minimum square footage for 5,000 feet to be a little higher density. I can control my frontage if I want to space out the yards a little more. I can control the building size, the side yard slopes, the backyard slopes, how long the backyards are, the right of way. You can control a lot of things from this properties menu. So I encourage you to get in there and explore it a little bit. Another thing that's nice about our driveway tool is you can easily add cul-de-sacs to your residential parcels. To do this, I'm just going to select the endpoint and turn cul-de-sac to true. Now this lets you play with different areas so that you can find the design that works best for you. Now we can just remove that cul-de-sac just as easily as it appeared and get back to our original design. You have a lot of control on this properties menu, so I want to come back to this and kind of scroll through. What I think is very nice about it is everything updates quickly and automatically for you. So if you go back to a project and they say you need a change order, that's done with the change of a number and you don't have to modify everything on your own. One nice thing as well is we can control these roadways by segments and we can even add sidewalk to one side if we like. I'll select this segment, add a sidewalk, and then I'll do the same for the next segment. As you can see, there's a lot of properties to get in and explore, but now our neighborhood is starting to come together. 